Tom Cloud with the Precious Metals Market Update. We'll start out the first question, the most common one over the last couple of weeks has been about Fed watching. What are you watching the Federal Reserve? Is that going to drive the economy in one way or the other? Is that good for gold? Good for silver? Bad for silver? Bad for gold? And you know the the answer is to start with we got a they kept rates the same. So there are a lot of people expecting a rate hike and others expecting not a rate hike, but uh, we, we were right, there's no rate, rate hike. Now what's gonna happen is we're going to July, we're gonna have more and more pressure on the interest rates uh, to drop them or raise them based on what the economy is doing. If the economy looks like it's gaining momentum, they're not gonna raise interest rates. They're gonna leave interest rates where they are well, on the other hand, if the economy is slowing, uh, then we're going to see cuts. And if we see cuts in the uh, interest rates, the federal interest rates, we're going to see uh, a big jump in gold. We've already seen it since January 1st of 2003, uh, 2023. We've seen a huge 55% jump in gold in 18 months. It's unbelievable to see what's going on there. And uh, certainly, I know that this president will do anything possible to make the economy look good when the election comes in November. And uh, if you see that, there's a good chance you could actually have rate cut, rate cut. And that would be tremendous for gold and silver and not good for the stock market uh, historically. So watch it, be, be aware of it, and uh, there will be a couple more times before the election that we'll be looking right at Fed watching to see what they're going to do and whether or not they're going to raise debt. It always makes us go back and remember the Obama years, 09 to 16, uh, 2016, when he was raising rates and we saw uh, what kind of economy we had for 2008 and 9? Gold was the only thing, the only investment that went up, nothing else. I mean, isolated stock here or there, but stock market went down 38% for the Dow during that time. And of course, we're looking at that because you got Trump following uh, a Democrat if he were to win. And of course, if he loses, You've got an uh, Obama situation, Democrats for eight years in there. So uh, I swear, keep watching the debt, watch the cut and rate. It'll be fantastic for gold and silver. And uh, so that's the economic scenario you want to watch. Every year on this show, I mentioned at least once about the debtclock.org, debtclock.org. And just look at what kind of debt we're putting ourselves in for the future generations. We're in a runaway debt situation in this country with massive changes coming after this election. It's going to be unbelievable. And I just pray that you're in the right investments for that kind of environment because gold is going to be a major part of it as we continue the central banks continue to gobble up gold. I mean, they've done it 17 out of 18. Um, times they've come in there and, and taken uh, that. So we got to be very careful to, to watch what they're doing and the debt and how fast it's growing. It's growing a uh, trillion dollars every hundred days. Let me say that again. Trillion dollars of debt every hundred days. We're up to 35 trillion. If an average interest rate of only 3%, we have over a trillion dollars of interest added to the debt uh, every uh, year. Right now, it's in a runaway situation, but please look at the debtclock.org, look at the bottom right-hand corner, and look what silver and gold is really worth, uh, but based on where it should be. I get the question all the time, when is gold and silver going to a 50 to one ratio? We want to see it come to 50 to one. It was over 100 just a few months ago, Gold was 100 times more expensive than silver. This morning, it's 79. So it's been coming down uh, to 79. 
But if silver is to get to what many people call a historical ratio of 50 to 1, you've got to envision what that might look like. And it might look like gold at 2,500, because right now it's at 2,430. So you'd have gold go about 6%, while you'd have silver go from 29 all the way up to 50. So you would have that jump and silver going to $50 uh, dollars for the third time. Remember, three, uh, four weeks ago, three weeks ago, gold hit an all-time high, 24.42, 2,442 per ounce. Silver uh, right now is at 29.60, nowhere near 50, where it's been to twice. First in 1980 under Jimmy Carter, we saw uh, silver jump all the way from single digits, five, six dollars to 50. Many people attribute it to the Hunt brothers trying to capture the market, monopolize, which did have some validity, but that wasn't the only reason. So if, if we want silver uh, go at 2,500, silver will be at 50. And this will be the third time they come knocking on the door. First time, 1980, silver came up to 50, but it couldn't hold, went all the way down to the teens. Second time was 2011. In one year, silver went up 90% and hit 50, and once again, could not hold. We believe 50 is the charm for the third time. And that's the reason, even though there is some risk in buying silver, there's a lot more potential for profit than there is for loss. So if we get to 50 on silver for the third time, what might it do? It might go to 75 to 100. I think it's very realistic. There continues, even with the EV car problems popping up, uh, it still continues to use a lot of silver to make these EV cars and other uh, issues. And now we see uh, that silver is almost exclusively used in Florida for energy. And uh, as we look at the uh, solar panels growing in huge demand, and this is going to keep up as people switch for the future it's going to be in the state of Florida is leading it, who will have many demands for silver and their growth as people continue to move to Florida. So watch uh, that is a major driver. We recently have seen pictures of, of a China digging trenches five, six feet deep and miles wide and piling silver in there and just covering it up because they're smart enough to know that a man for silver in the future it's going to be unbelievable. And America is about the only people not stock pounded. Even car manufacturers should, but they're not. They need to be. They need to be uh, piling it up and getting ready for a metal that is going to have many uses over the next two or three decades. And you need to be in there and be a part of it because I see silver going to huge numbers, over a hundred dollars. And this next move could be the one. Now, what could make it go wrong? Certainly, we could go into a recession uh, after we saw it uh, with Obama, and we certainly have seen it with other presidents. So you could have a recession come like 08, 09. And if that did come, certainly silver could lose down from the 29 and a half, or call it 30, $30 an ounce, it could come down some. So we're not telling you it's guaranteed, but it's certainly worth putting some of your money in that, but especially precious metals. I mean, this thing is unbelievable, the opportunities you're going to see. And just think what gold and silver have done for you already. We've been right on top of it and trying to help you realize, but you need to be buying silver right now. Just keep adding and adding, cost averaging in, and you will not be disappointed. You know, that's the ratio I wanted to uh, talk to you about. So uh, the interest on the debt that uh, we've talked about, we're up to $35 trillion. 
This country can't take it. It's going to go bankrupt. The dollar is the is the talking feature. What is the next currency up? Will it be a digital currency? Will it be a Chinese yuan backed by partial gold? Will it be a new currency we don't know about backed by all gold? Will the U.S. become a secondary currency? How much longer can it last? Not long. I mean, I, I, I know that. I wish I could give you the answer to that question. But the answer to it is keep cost averaging into it and get you some silver. Keep buying silver. Keep uh, adding silver to your portfolio. So um, hopefully we got back on track. We talked about what you wanted to talk about. But there'll be a lot going on as this election comes. There's a lot of issues out there. And uh, we just got to keep our eyes open and realize this country, the greatness it's enjoyed, is coming to an end. You look back at empires over history, an average of every 220 or 30 years, we have the power recycle from east to west. And now we have that English power <coughs> come to the U.S. And now we have the U.S. power going straight to China for the future. And it is going to happen, whether you want it or not, or like it or agree, it's still going to happen. It's time to use common sense. It's time to use book sense. It's time to use uh, follow ec ec economic writers. Get all the information you can because most of us that are baby boomers born from 1945 to 54, we don't have no chance like 08, 09. If you can stand having all your money in stocks and think you're going to come out of it well, you may, you may not. But certainly, I'm not going to be caught like I was with Obama, even though I did better than 99% because I had a lot more in gold. But also, I got out of stocks and, and, and missed that 38% drop. Not all of it, but most of it. So you need to be thinking. You need to be praying. You need to be looking at the situation there and making your moves now before this election comes. And then you're forced to make decisions. So hopefully we've caught up, uh, get back on track to do this every couple of weeks. And uh, we enjoyed the brief break from doing it every two weeks. And uh, hopefully we'll get back on the grand foot. So this is Tom Cloud with a pressure market update signing out.